this second race. It's another real good push off the line from Shinya Izawa. Oh, uh, uh, Daki, I think no. Danic does actually maintain that, <laughs> that whole shot and first position in towards the first turn. Yeah, yesterday was a bit of a rougher start for Adaki from pole position, but today into second then it looks like, and Danish in the lead. Quite the whole shot is nearly, nearly as good as. So he slots into second, and so far so good. Drama free here in Ray John did not compromise his line or drive out of that corner whatsoever. You've got the number two of Ray Wakamatsu going off track limits there just in the background, just behind him. Yeah, so we've got all of our key players having pretty solid starts then. Uh, certainly those key players from yesterday. Any drama either, so everyone's still very much much together on track um, and yet yeah, Nicholas as well made quite a good start there he'll be hoping to get a few more than number 20 on the chase yet yeah. They're right back in there. Yeah, Quetzana on the chase as well. He had a really good... So when he was fighting up towards the front in the early stage, he thought, well, that's a little bit of a surprise, but uh, no, holding firm in at P7 at the moment. Come out on top, I think it's going to be Mia. Yeah, the number five then holds that line and takes back the lead. Tatama, though, looking very, very strong. And and out, the more those just behind are able to hang on, and especially with that slipstream down the really long main straight here at La Salle. Uh, but fortunately, up and trying to get running once again. Bit of a taller character is Laon Cleo. Uh, on that smaller Asia Talent Cup. Uh, the smaller bikes, can't you? Then, uh, then maybe you can on bigger machinery, certainly like MotoGP. Um, but yeah, opportunity is what we're meant to get from equal machinery, but sometimes you can be at a bit of a disadvantage or advantage, depending on that. But Speed so wasn't exactly that far down on Amon Adakis, who's a much smaller frame, the number 14 out front there, than the number 5, so pretty even. Previous lap to that, well, a lot of these riders were in the mid-212, so what you say about these riders overtaking each other for that first Adaki. Well, he had a front end twitches on quite a lot yesterday as well, and who did that let through into the front? I think Supreme pickpocket. But yeah, that was another little bit of a warning for Adaki, and we, like you say, we saw a couple of those yesterday as well. Mainly down in towards turn one, and uh, the riders, the East Cup riders will be staying in Qatar because, of course, a variety of quarantine rules in their home countries, but it's a stay all together, so the kind of work to do to uh, get back up to the front of this. But then, of course, no one's going to be in pure attack mode, probably, unless they really... Go, or the moves start get a little bit more ambitious elbows come out just a little bit more and you can tell the rider out front really wants this the, 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 the age of talent cut machine thought it was riding an mxgp basically <laughs> uh, at that yeah particular he point. was certainly i can imagine the number seven and it, he takes the race lead then and yeah like you say a little bit of daylight there at times but adaki straight back onto the back of that fall off the back of this group a little bit they may be feeling those effects of that crash yesterday the australian just not quite able to hang and in i've also hooty to take a victory here but also i guess for Pratama as well because we've not actually had an Indonesian win at least since well 2020 home podium that home glory he would love a win but maybe that's going to be out of the question you've got yesterday's winner Izawa on his tail he's absolutely on one he really wants his victory but he goes wide and it looks like they're going to let Adaki get away with it I think they are it's close now so Hootie looked like he'd taken over in second but yeah a little bit wide that's just allowed a couple of guys to get back past plenty of experience of racing at this sort of level in the European Talent Cup with the vastly experienced Leopard Racing squad as well so he knows well, well you might say that but it's going to be a rookie who could take this victory if he stays on in this final sector yeah it's definitely it's who is going to be on the podium it's still too close to call everything can change still in the final few corners just two versus an indonesian and then a japanese rider looking to pick up any sort of pieces here we go then this is the final corner around the corner with the smaller frames win out over the larger ones it's going to be glory for adaki he's sweeping over to make Sure. Katari, it's Al Sahuti. Glory for him. Second place. And Pratama, the Indonesian, gets third ahead of Gun Mie. Then from Adaki, he has been the fastest man in the Asia Talent Cup so 